Okay, welcome back. Last time I had entered this study and I was snooping around. I come across a note. To my most trusted student and friend, Johann Weyer, the most remarkable thing happened to me. Uh, I, I couldn't believe it happened to me. As I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer, I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. Okay. It was as it was told about an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Okay. Its color washed w while rich. Contrast is an not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. Or you're on something. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that it was trespassing. Well, feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetched the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but, unfortun but fortunately they remained and as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Bastard. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, resting, well, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. Last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research in the mythic orbs as I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstad. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Y'all be tripping balls. Seriously, what's wrong with you people? Aren't the windows normally thicker than this? <gasps> I swear, I thought the windows were th thicker than that. Oh. Hmm. Oh well. I just sworn they were thicker. Continue my search of the study. Okay. Hmm. I knew the windows in this room were different than usual. Well, this looks unpleasant. There's a note on the table. Not grabbing that yet. Whoa! Let's see 
what you have to offer. <laughs> Bastard. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. What is wrong with that guy? Why do we attack a dog like that? A ball? Note. For their disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice, as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Are you trying to become a vampire, dude? Because that's totally not how you go about it. Ooh, tinder. Nothing. Skulls. You shall be my new Steve! <laughs> Yay! I have a new Steve. I guess now I'll go ahead and read this one. Oh, there's Doghead. That could be my Steve. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed. It seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Dude, I fucked up. Come on, Steve. Let's continue exploring. Or not. Looks like not. Okay. Let's go investigate that cracked window, Steve. You're useless. Try a chair. Steve is too weak. Man. Well, I did something. Ooh, Tinder. Is this a jumping sequence? I hate jumping sequences. All right, Steve. Lead the way. Jump. 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 And jump inside. Is it all clear, Steve? Yeah. Go check out that room while I check this room. Elevator renovation plans. Will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I've done so much for you, and I've gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Um. So there's a bit of a trail going on? Steve.
Steve? Is the room safe? You're useless, Steve. Another note. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. Meters should read up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions for phase amplitude complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. I'll have to go back. Not before I get some more tinder. Come on, Steve. It's time to go. Frame rate, stop dropping. Get back up, frame rate. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ha! I made it. Whatever's out there. Steve, go tell it to leave me alone. I'm going away. I'm sorry, Steve. I'll never forget you until I find a new Steve. William Smith had been marked. There is no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Unless he, you know, looked at his shadow. <laughs> Alrighty. Machine room or storage? Got a key to the machine room. So, I guess I might as well check it out before I check out storage. Frame rate, get back up. You suck, frame rate. Pretty sure I left that door open. <sighs> Seriously, David, learn to use the key automatically. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The machine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Someone's got a problem. Why are you so nervous, Daniel? It's just a whole new room. Left unexplored. Possible things wanting to kill you that we haven't come across. It's not that bad. Oh look. I guess this would be eight above and eight below. Um, I'll take a moment to think about this and I shall See you guys again in the next episode.